So right now, as I record and post this, this is the 27th of November, 2023. Tomorrow, the 28th, will bring us the release of Operation Deep Freeze, Year 8 Season 4 of Rainbow Six Siege. Now, I've played a lot of this season on the test server. I think it's a really fun season. Tuberau is an incredible defender and brings so much to the defensive team. The new map layer is great. It's going to be very daunting at first, but trust me, once you learn this map, it's absolutely brilliant. Visually, it's stunning and it's absolutely incredible to play on. And although I do have issues outside of what's coming in this season, I think this is a great season of Rainbow Six Siege. I think people are going to enjoy it, and I cannot wait to see what comes in Year 9 of Rainbow Six Siege. That being said, with the new season, Ubisoft will be updating their new AI system. The current AI system, which is in place, which can be found in modes such as T-Hunt and Situations, are what allows these non-playable enemies to function and operate and fight back to us intelligent players. And in Ubisoft's own words, this system is outdated. Every single single update they have to do to the game, they have to also do to this AI. And Ubisoft are making some changes. Firstly, they have a brand new AI system being implemented, and this is bringing some new modes. Firstly, we have the AI Defender playlist, where you have these basically sentient defenders who are using machine learning to replicate real players. This allows you to play what seems to be a normal match of Siege offline. As well as this, we have some other modes. We have a replacement to T-Hunt called Target Drill, where instead of fighting T wrist, I don't think I can say the full word, we will be fighting dummies. And if you aren't aware, to allow this new AI system to come into place, it has to replace the old one. Meaning that now, the 27th of November 2023, is the final day that T Hunt, all of the situations will be supported and available in Rainbow Six Siege. These modes will be removed with the new season. And now, I'm quite bittersweet about this. Yes, I'm happy we're getting new updated AI, which is easier for Ubisoft to manage is smarter and it allows more stuff to be integrated into the game that is good however i feel like a big part of siege's identity is also being lost here i am really into rainbow six siege lore if you are not aware in the lore the entire reason this rainbow squad was reactivated was to fight these white masks the white masks are the reason we have these iconic characters the white masks are the reason this squad now exists like it or not characters such as ash and jaeger are more recognizable than legacy rainbow characters such as john clark and ding chavez and a big part that came along with rainbow six siege was t hunt was these white masks yes the lore was pretty loose when the game came out but the white masks were still relevant after defeating the white masks they used the c's bank accounts to hire night haven the white masks meant something in the story and although they're not removing them from the story this did still happen in the lore it does feel a little bit of this identity is now being lost since with these modes no longer being in the game we'll never see these character models again. We'll never be able to fight the white masks ever again. Now, I've seen a lot of reasons as to why people are saying maybe they're removing the white masks for a reason. I mean, you've got that new target drill mode. Simply couldn't it have not just been the white masks in that. Why have they now been replaced with dummies? And I've seen some arguments where it's like, well, clearly, I think in this day and age, games don't want to be associated with Tism, which I guess is understandable from a marketing standpoint, especially with events that happen in the real world. However, that's always happened in the real world for centuries, especially with a franchise such as Rainbow. We can't just pretend like that stuff doesn't happen and we can't talk about it. It is still fiction in this universe at the end of the day. And as well as this, even though I potentially understand that mindset, it is still happening in Rainbow Six Siege. Just a season ago in the lore, Deimos attacked a tower in the middle of Seoul in South Korea. That was a blatant act of terrorism. So on one hand, you can sort of see it as Ubisoft removing the white masks entirely from the game to sort of have a more marketing friendly thing. However, you've also got the same story in the game and cinematics showing these acts of terror as well. So I don't know if it is the case that the white masks are leaving and they're being replaced with dummies just because they want to get that image out of the game. I don't know if that's true because it's sort of conflicting information when you look at the current lore as well. Deimos is pretty much also like the White Masks. He's doing these attacks. At the current point in time in the lore, we learn that he's developing chemical weapons as well, same as the White Masks were doing. So I honestly don't know if that's the case. If you told me right now that Ubisoft were trying to remove t from Rainbow Six Siege, I don't know if I'd agree with you. Maybe like a year and a half ago, yes, maybe when it seemed like Nighthaven were the antagonists because it was kind of like, you know, they're just beefing with a private military. But now that the story has unraveled more and there actually is a villain doing these acts of 
terror, I don't know if I can agree with you. So we know the reason why we have new modes is because the AI has been updated and it has to replace the old system. That's just how it works. Okay, we understand that bit. But why have the models now been replaced to dummies? I think it's just meant to be consistency for their training. And the in-story lore of this training is the Rainbow Operation Unit, in this case, ran by both Mira and Sam Fisher, just training you. And that's why there are dummies. That's why in the initial training mode, which got added last season, you're fighting dummies in a stadium-like arena because this is Rainbow's own turf. This is under their rules. This is their training system. I think the same is sort of to be said about this new target drill mode as well. Before, T-Hunt was meant to be sort of in lore. You're actually fighting the white masks in the story. Same with the situations. But nowadays, it's sort of meant to be more like training based with the Rainbow Operation staff. I think that is the reason why we now have different models for the enemies we're fighting in these training modes. I don't massively think it is because they're trying to move away from T-Rism. That being said, it is sad to see these modes go. As the lore enjoyer, as someone who just enjoys the game, it is sad to see these situations go. This was, you know, a core piece of the game when it first launched and it is leaving. Now, will people be sad outside of the fact that they can't play it and the nostalgia bit? No, because myself included and most of you never touch situations, okay? You play it for the first time when you get the game. You don't touch it outside of that. You play multiplayer. So in the grand scheme of things, is it sad? Is it bad that it's leaving? It, you know, we'll get over it in a week's time. It is sad to think about. It is sad to see these parts leaving. Like I said, we will get over it, but it does feel like we are losing a little aspect of the story. I would just like maybe like a skin based on the white mask or something white mask based just to, you know, reference the roots of Rainbow Six Siege, reference the fact that, you know, they were a big part in the Rainbow Six franchise being mainline again. You know, Rainbow Six has always been a popular franchise since the first book, since, you know, when Ubisoft adapted it into video games and all the video games that came after that. People enjoyed it. It has its fan base. It's never been a, a game or a franchise or a book which people haven't enjoyed. There's always been a fan base. But Rainbow Six Siege has exploded it to people outside of it. You know, it's what introduced me into the Rainbow Six, you know, franchise. From then on, I've started, you know, to read the original book. We're going to do a series on this channel where we play through all the original original games up to the one before Siege so you guys can get the entire timeline as well and we can learn it together. It's exciting. Siege has done massive for the Rainbow Six franchise and I guess it is just sad to see one of those founding figures of its push to the mainline being the White Mask sort of now being left in the past. It is sad to see that. They have served their purpose in the lore. They reactivated Rainbow. Rainbow defeated them, seized their bank accounts, led to the Night Haven storyline so they are a pillar in the lore. The White Mask will always be important to Ubisoft's Rainbow Six universe and until we maybe potentially see them in a single player prequel game in the future or any other nods we get to them in the lore gameplay wise we won't be seeing the white masks ever again so be sure to let me your thoughts in the comment section below drop a like on this video if you did enjoy i'll catch you later have a good one peace